The Makeup Free Selfie, a fundraising phenomenon. It started in March when American author Laura Lippman took a picture of herself with no makeup in support of actress Kim Novak, who'd been mocked for her appearance at the Oscars. But in Stoke on Trent, 19 year old Fiona Cunningham spotted a fundraising opportunity. Cancer affects a lot of people, like it's affected my family and like personally. I thought to myself, women do not need to wear makeup. I basically posted this picture with a hashtag no makeup self in. The speed at which it, the idea caught on was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, like in the first few days I was very overwhelmed. We're like here's Cheryl Cole, Holly Willoughby, Kim Marsh, which were very popular that people wanted to see. And I think it made them confident to post theirs afterwards as well. Even people from America, uh, Mexico and actually Brazil wanted to find out how to donate to Cancer Research UK. Talk us through how much money you actually raised. In six days it actually raised £8.5 million. Pounds. I'm still shocked to this day that it actually happened. The no makeup selfie phenomenon was hugely successful, but brief. Most of the money was raised in just one week. But then in the summer came another fundraising success story no one saw coming. <laughs> the ice bucket challenge. Something celebrities, politicians, and members of the public the world over couldn't resist. What makes a successful viral social media charity campaign? One is it needs to be owned by the, the donors or supporters. Uh, both of those campaigns started um, organically from the grassroots up. They weren't designed by the charities, they weren't cooked up in some strategic planning meeting, they just happened from people out there having an idea and it taking off and their friends and family and others getting involved. I think what I found particularly interesting was the kind of people that got involved weren't your traditional charity donors. You know, these people are not responding to direct mail, they maybe don't like being approached in the street by fundraisers and it's a whole new demographic which is really exciting for charities. But becoming a viral sensation can be a double-edged sword. Although millions were being raised for motor neurone disease charities, by September, some felt the novelty had worn off. Saturation point had been reached. There is an element where you lose some control sometimes of your campaigns. We're all grappling with this new technology as it comes along and trying to use it in the most effective way possible. That opportunity to raise awareness is, is really powerful. It's an opportunity we have to grasp. Another campaign didn't just raise money. It fulfilled the last wishes of the young man who created it. Stephen Sutton set out to raise £10,000 for the Teenage Cancer Trust before he died in May. To date, He's exceeded four and a half million pounds and proved that an online fundraising campaign can win over the hearts of a nation. Tim Muffet, BBC News.